viewers, today I am going to elaborate the terminology concerning le and tal, or you can say the fundamentals of tal. Le or rhythm is as essential as swar in Indian music. Very often it is said that swar and le, that is note and rhythm, are the two wheels of the musical vehicle. Yes, it is true. These are the two strongest pillars on which the whole musical structure is developed and without which no musical composition is possible. So, let us know in detail what is lay. Lay is the basic rhythm or the tempo which is set by the performer for singing or playing any musical composition. In fact, not only in music, lay prevails in every human activity in its natural way. We walk, talk, eat or every activity which is performed by human being in a natural way or in a balanced way, there is the flow of lay or rhythm. In music, we define lay as a natural harmonious flow of gain, vadan and naritya, that is vocal, instrumental and dance. Tempo, rhythm or speed, these all are the synonymous for Indian musical term called lay. Lay is the tempo of music of which tal plays the detailed part. Lay can be classified into three main categories, which are commonly known as vilambit lay, that is slow tempo, madhya lay, that is medium or moderate tempo, drut lay, that is fast tempo. Now, let me elaborate these three kinds of lay. First is vilambit lay. Vilambit lay is very slow tempo of singing or playing any musical instrument. In fact, Vilambit lay is half of the natural rhythm. There are some styles of singing in Hindustani classical music, which are usually performed in this lay. For example, Dhrupat, Dhamar, Bada Khyal, etc. Likewise, in instrumental music too, Masid Khani Ghats are played in this lay. Some Taals are particularly played in Vilambit lay in Hindustani music. For example, Jhumra Taal, Tilwada Taal, Arachau Taal, Ek Taal, Dhamar Taal and Tivra Taal etc. Now, Madhya lay. Madhya lay is a natural flow of singing or playing any instrument. It is neither slow nor fast tempo. As stated earlier, in everyday routine, everyone performs one's tasks in natural way, like walking, talking, eating or performing any other activity. While elaborating the use of this kind of rhythm or lay in music, the singing styles like Chota Khyal, Geet, Bhajan, Ghazal, etc. and Raza Khani Ghats are played in this lay. The Taals usually played in this lay are Teen Taal, Dadra Taal, Keherwa Taal, Jhap Taal, etc. Drutle. Normally, Drutle is the double of Madhyale or medium tempo. Any tal of Madhyale can be performed in Drutle in the fast speed. Singing styles like Tarana is sung in this lay. Or on the stringed instrument, Jhala is also played in Drutle. 
Singing or playing in Drutle often enthralls the listeners and they enjoy the rhythm along with singing or playing composition. All the three kinds of lay can be described in a simple way as natural tempo or madhya lay is the double of vilambit lay and drut lay is the double of madhya lay. Except the three main tempos in music, there are also terms like ati vilambit lay and ati drut lay which denote very slow tempo and very fast tempo. In this case, we may say that the whole range of tempos goes from ati vilambit to vilambit, madhya, drut and ati drut. One more interesting thing about lay is that while singing or playing, lay can be double, triple or up to eight times faster of the original or the basic lay, which is set by the performer. This ability of the performer to manipulate the notes according to the rhythm is called laikari. There are other terms like ard, quad and biard, etc. connected with lay. These are very fine and developed form of these main kinds of lay. These kinds are really interesting and astonishing to play with lay. But to play with such laikaris demand a very good command over lay. The term which I am going to explain next is tal. which is a fixed or constructed form of lay. Tal is an essential element of time and rhythm in Indian music. In the old text of Indian music, Sangeet Ratnakar in 13th century by Sarangdev, it is mentioned, Geetam vadyam tathanrityam yats tale pratishtam, which means that all the three constituents of Sangeet, Gain, Vadan and Naritya, that is vocal music, instrumental music and dance are glorified with Tal. Tal is like a vertebrate of any musical composition between all the three constituents of music, that is vocal, instrumental and dance. In fact, Tal along with Swar is an essential component of any musical composition, without which no composition is possible. The word tal generally refers to the division of time. Great sitar maestro Pandit Ravi Shankar has mentioned in his book, My Music, My Life, that the word tal has its origin in the syllables ta from Tandav the cosmic dance of Shiva and La from Lasse, the feminine counterpart of Tandav, a dance originally attributed to Pavati. Another interpretation of the word Tal is that it refers to hand clapping, that is Tali, for keeping the time. In fact, Tal refers to the division of time. When lay or musical time is fixed in matras, that is beads, it is known as tal. So we can say that tal is a cycle of fixed number of matras or beads repeated over and over again till the composition is completed. Since each tal or rhythmic cycle has different number of beads in it, so theoretically, a tal of any number of beats is possible. In Northern Indian music, tal of 3 to 108 beats are considered traditional. It has been observed that according to the necessity of the practical artist, numerous different tals were introduced in Indian music from time to time. Out of these, only 40 to 50 are in vogue in the present days. But in 
practice, only a few of these are common. There are about 15 to 20 thals in Hindustani music, which are most often used by the musicians to perform. The students of music know even the lesser number than that. For the students in the music classes, it is important to have the knowledge of the most common thals of Hindustani music, like teen thal, ek thal, kehrwa thal, Dadra Tal, Rupak Tal, and Jhap Tal, etc. To have a good understanding of Tal, we need to know the fundamentals of Tal, such as Matra, Avartan, Sam, Tali, and Kali, etc. Now I will elaborate these fundamentals of Tal one by one. First is Matra or Beat. Matra or beat is a single metrical unit to measure the time consumed in singing or playing any musical composition. Different number of matras generate different thals in music. For example, a group of six matras is called dadra tal. Similarly, seven matras make rupak tal, eight matras kehrva tal, 10 matras chhap tal, 12 matras ek tal, 14 matras dhamar and jhumra tal, and a group of 16 matras is called teen tal. Matra may be better understood by comparing it with one second. As the 60 second constitute one minute and the 60 minutes form one hour. Similarly, Different number of matras or rhythmic units generate different thals in Indian music. Thus, we can say that thal is a combination of matras or rhythmic beats. When reciting or playing any thal, each matra is indicated by a different bowl or syllable which constitute the whole theka of tal. Next is avartan. Avartan is the basic cycle. When total matras or bowls of tal are repeated in one cycle, it is called avartan or avriti. Maybe these matras or bowls are 6, 7, 8, 10 or more. Before elaborating further, let me explain bowl. Actually, bowl is the mnemonic system for each matra or beat of any tal. Or we can say, when the syllables are attached to base, then these syllables are known as bowls of tal. While playing any tal on tabla, each bowl has its own name that can be vocalized and written as well. For example, dha, din, ta, tin, etc. Let me explain it further. Kehrwa tal has eight matras. The bowl fixed for eight beats of Kehrwa tal are Dhagena te naka dhinna. Now, each repeated cycle of these eight matras or bowls, which constitute the theka of kehrvatal, is known as one avartan. In other words, we can say when total beads or bowls of tal complete one cycle from sum to sum it becomes one avartan. You can see written in the script one avartan of kehrva tal. Dhage nati nake dhinna. Tal kehrva tha le. Dha ghe na ni na kar 
This is one cycle or one avartan of kehrvatal. Similarly, you can see again one avartan of japtal. Japtal. Dhi, na, dhi, dhi, na, dhi, na, dhi, dhi, na. When the total matras or beads or the bowls of tal or we can say the complete theka of tal is repeated in one cycle that is from sum to sum it becomes one avartan. While playing any tal avartans are repeated one after the other till the composition is completed. While writing any tal in notation one avartan of tal or the complete theka of tal is written with matras, bowls, which are divided into different groups or sections called vibhags, and putting the tal chin, that is a symbol of tal. As I have stated earlier, while writing any tal in notation, the total matras of tal are divided into different groups, which are called vibhags. These vibhags may be of any number of beats, say 2, 3, 4 or more, depending upon the structure of tal. But the important thing is that the first beat of each vibhag is accompanied by tal chin, that is symbol of tal, either by tali, the clap of hand like this or by khali, the wave of hand. The three important chin of any tal are sam, khali and tali that is bhari. Now I will explain these three most important beads in any tal which are sam, khali and bhari or tali. First is sam. Sam is the most important and most emphasized beat of any tal, usually on the first beat. Sam is the beginning of the cycle where the singer or the main instrumentalist and the rhythmic accompanist coincide at that point. The vocalist, instrumentalist and the dancers also complete or finish their composition at sum. When beating the time, sum is indicated by a hand clap like this. Sum is that point where even the laymen enjoy the tal and their hand or the other part of the body waves automatically. Now Kali. After some, Kali is the most important point in a tal, usually in the middle of the total beats, that is matras. As the name suggests, the unstressed beats or the empty beats in tal are called khalis. Kali proceeds the sum and gives the indication of the approaching sum. Kali helps the artist to find out the place of sum in the particular tal. Kali and sum are interconnected in such a manner that the former follows the later or the vice versa. There can be one, two, three or four khalis in a tal depending upon the total number of beats in a tal and the structure of tal. While counting the time, khali is indicated by the wave of hand or placing the back of the right hand upon the left hand or the base hand's palm in lieu of a clap making no sound, thus making its name Kali meaningful. 
भरे और ताले After sum and khali, the other important beats within the taal are called bhari because it is not empty beat like khali. Instead, bhari is indicated by a hand clap. That is why it is also called tali. Apart from sum, there can be one, two, three or more bharis or talis in a taal. depending upon the total number of beats in a particular taal and the structure of taal like some talis or bharis are also indicated by a hand clap thus we can say that in each taal there are beats with the different degrees of importance while performing or practicing to keep the time in music beats of taal can be indicated by hands as i have stated earlier some and other talis or bharis are indicated by hand claps like this or the talis khali is indicated by the wave of hand usually the right hand or placing the back of the right hand upon the base hand's palm making no sound this posture symbolizes emptiness and thus justifies the name khali while teaching the taal to the students of music in a class the other beats can be counted on fingers starting with the little finger then the ring finger then middle finger and so on depending upon the number of beats in each vibhag how to count beats and show some khali and bhari by hands taking the example of teen taal which has three talis or bharis and one khali the bowls of teen taal are dha dhin dhin dha dha dhin dhin dha dha tin tin ta ta dhin dhin dha now i will count the beats on the fingers like this dha dhin then dha dha then then dha dha then then ta ta then then dha dha counting the time with fingers and hand enables the students to have a good control over lay that is rhythm while writing the taal in notation some tali and khali these three very important beats of taal are indicated by different symbols which are called taal chin in pandit bhatkhand's notation system the notation system which we use for writing the notation of musical compositions sum is indicated by putting cross bhari or talis other than sum are indicated by putting the digit 2 3 and 4 khali is indicated by putting zero or a small circle you can see all these symbols written in the script these symbols of sam tali and khali have been shown in the example of teen tal you can see teen tal written in the script in its complete form that is showing some tali and khali to sum up we can say swar and tal that is note and rhythmic cycle these are the two essential components of any musical composition in the absence of any one of these components no composition is possible while swar plays a very vital role and it has its own constituents matra avartan sam tali and khali are the fundamentals or the essential components of tal each component has its own importance in tal therefore each one of these requires both theoretical 
as well as practical knowledge in order to have a better understanding of Taal, which will definitely lead to better performance. Thank you.